Hey everybody, welcome back to 80's Dream Wave. I thought I'd do a review of Arl Stein's Fear Street Truth or Dare. This came out in 1995 in February. Uh, this starts out with four kids in a limo. Ken, Jenny, April, and Josh. Um, three of them from Shady Side, and the other one is uh, someone who lives outside Shady Side. The the uh, ski lodge that they're going to belongs to a new girl that moved to Shady Side, and um, she had invited uh, Jenny, April, and Ken to uh, with them, and they picked up Josh on the way. On the way. King joked that he, after he got out of high school that he was going to buy himself a limo. Of course, Jenny, his girlfriend, said, yeah, right. You are, um, you, you can't even afford to pay for your, by credit borrow your money to pay for the bike that you broke. Um, April um, was excited because this would be a nice little trip away from Shady Side. Um, the person who owned the um, lodge was Dara. Dara was the new girl uh, at Shady Side, and she invited her friends up to ski. Uh, of course, they were kind of disappointed because they like there was not going to be any snow. Josh just kept looking out. Josh was kind of a nerd. He had, had glasses and he was very quiet. April did try to talk to him, ask him about you know how he knew Dara, and he said that his father worked together in a law firm. So um, when they get there, uh, Dara comes up in the jeep, and she and of course her parents didn't come with. They had changed their mind. So they talked to each other outside for a minute and went in. Uh, the lodge was huge. I couldn't believe how big it was. When I went in, it was pitch black. April ran into something or somebody. When Dora turned the lights on, she sees two kids. One's named Tony, and the other one's name is Carly. She looks at him in such an anger. And she says, you're not supposed to be up here. This is family's week to stay up here, not yours. And, of course, Tony says, I forgot. And they argue for a while. And Carly is uh, Tony's girlfriend. After a while, they start arguing. Uh, they realize they could share the lodge together. Uh, after they settle in, uh, Dara hopes that they start, hope it starts snowing soon. Everyone finally gets settled in, everyone gets to the living room, and they decide they want to play a game, and Ken suggests truth or dare, and, uh, and of course, the minute he says it, Josh says, no, I don't want to play it. Of course, Tony and Carly don't want anything to do with it, but Dara jumps in and says, says, okay, let's play it. He says, she says, I'm going to be the one to, you know, ask the questions. Ken, of course, um, gets asked the first question. And he, she said, I want you to tell me something you feel guilty you did a long time ago. And he said that he stole some money from a kid that dropped it in a comic store. He said he's never felt guilty. She said, that's not good enough. So she turns to, she said, well, he said, it's your turn. And he says, he said, okay. He said, who is the worst kisser you ever, ever had? And she looks straight at Josh. Josh gets pretty angry. And, um, and he, he grabs a poker and goes toward her. Kenny and, um, Jenny tried to stop him. And she said, I didn't, I just looked at you. I didn't mean you. And he finally calms down and, uh, Dara goes and talks to him, and he said he's okay. She said, I didn't mean him at all. But, of course, she looked straight at him, and he was pretty hurt. And Dara said, let's continue playing the game. So she asked April. April blurts out. He says, she says, truth or dare? She said, truth. And when she, 
She don't know why she did it, but she blurted it out about something she knew last summer that she knew she saw some a girl about a girl who um, was um, and sure she could finish the where she could finish Tony comes in and said this this is dumb you know you you know Tribute is not a very good game and she said okay before Abel could finish about the girl incident that she knew about and Tony She's okay. I truth or dare. And he says dare. So she's okay. She said, I want you to climb up on the roof of this lodge and get that frisbee you threw up there. And Carly said, No, don't. It starts it started just start snowing. And she said it'd be slick. He said, No problem. So he and all the kids went out to the bank. All of them really didn't want him to do it, but Dara said, Come on, he needs to do it. He said he, he, we dared him, and she said he took the dare. So he climbs up there, and he almost hits himself. Kill, he's he almost falls off, but he 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 makes it down. But she says you didn't get the frisbee. He said I don't care, forget it. I don't like this game. So they went back in, and everybody decided that they they didn't want to play the game. She's okay. Let's let's go look around the property so that's what they started doing they got they got more warmer clothes on and they went out and walked around the property it started snowing pretty heavily when they started walking but ken said it's gonna be nice snow weather all april could think about was what she'd said i wish i hadn't said it but she had felt guilty about that girl at summer island that's all she could think about the story goes on that she starts to remember as she was looking at the snow. She saw Ken, her best friend's boyfriend, kissing another girl. That's what she felt guilty about. And she hadn't told Jenny last summer. And the guilt was bothering her heavily. And she said, I need to forget it. I, she said, but it felt good kind of to tell the truth. But she didn't. After a while, they all got tired and decided to go in. Dora said, you know what, finish playing the truth for Derry. Nobody wanted to. Everybody wanted to go to bed. So when they started going to bed, um, April comes back down for some hot chocolate. And she sees Darla. And Darla says, I'm going to go out and get some firewood. She says, you want me to go with you? She said, well, not in what you're wearing. She says, you're going to get your night coat, night clothes. And... I think I can go get the wood myself. So she puts a coat on and she leaves. So April settles down for a while and then goes upstairs to go to bed. The next morning, they all are downstairs. April gets down there and everybody's going around for breakfast. Everybody's wondering where April, um, I would say Daryl was. But no one knows where she is or Josh. So... They think, oh, they're sleeping in. But Carly mentions, I thought she was an early bird. I thought she got up early. But um, she, they keep wondering. They keep looking around the kitchen. They make some food. But they never come up. So April and Jenny and Carly decide to go up to see where Darla is. When they go into her room, they find her suitcase hasn't been opened and the bed hasn't been slept in. Where is she? And they wonder where Josh is. So the boys go into Josh's room and they find that he hasn't slept in. For one, Ken was sharing a room with him and he said, I don't think he came came up to sleep. So maybe they both went out together. When they looked out, they saw the Jeep was missing. So when they, um, they said maybe they went to, to settle things since they, you know, hurt each other's feelings and stuff. So... So that's what they thought, but they did not come back. They were worried. Of course, Tony said that they'll be fine. They'll be fine. I've known forever. She'll be fine. She knows this place pretty well, this area. And um, But they're still worried. But time goes on. They still get worried. It starts to get snow harder and harder, and they got worried. They don't know where either of them is. 
Um, as time goes on, they decide they want to call the police. But Tony says, no, I don't want my parents to know where I'm at. And uh, they decide that the to go in the living room, but April notices that there is no wood. She says, where's the wood? She was supposed to bring in some wood last night. So they decide to, but they start hearing something bang. They, they don't know what it is. And after a while, they realize it's at the back door. When they open up, they find that the door uh, of the uh, freezer that was out there was open. When they try to open it, they see a dead body. They see Dara's dead body, her eyes wide open, dead. April starts to scream, and they they go back in there and they tell them that they found Dara's body. So, who killed her? Um, and where is Josh? Um, could he be the murderer? I don't want to give it all away, but could could Tony be the murderer? He never forgave her for something. And could uh, Josh be the murderer? He's disappeared, or could the could the victim been someone else? Oh, well, she was murdered for no reason. I'll let you go. Uh, this is a for free uh, review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I love this book, True for Dare. I thought it was really good. Uh, but who murdered her? Um, you know, could it been Ken? Could it been because he Maybe he thought that was April. Or could have been um, Josh. Maybe he never forgave her for what she'd done. She just um, made him feel guilty. Maybe out of anger he killed her. So I'll let you go. Bye.